Hi, this is Terrell, graphic recorder and creator of Frame the Message, Inc. This is Picture This. In Module 3, Part 2, you'll learn about how to plan for the creation of your own stellar sketchnote. While it's impossible to fully plan for what to expect from a sketchnoting session, you can set yourself up for success by being ready and prepared with the right tools and the environment that will generate a fruitful note-taking experience. Here are a few things you can plan ahead for. The right notebook is critical for a successful sketchnoting experience. I know, I have hundreds of them. So here's the criteria I use to make sure I've made the best choice with my notebooks. It should have blank, unlined pages. It should be large enough for me to draw on, but small enough to travel easily. And I prefer the notebooks that lay flat. This allows me to stretch my notes across two pages, leaving me more real estate to play with. The type of pen you choose is definitely a style preference. Everyone likes what they like. The really good ones tend to walk away. I'm sort of fickle. I like to use felt tips a lot because they don't bleed through the page. But I also like the detail you can get from the thinner tip. If you like detail too, you might actually want to have multiple tip diameters on hand. But whatever pen you choose, you'll want to make sure to always have a couple spares on hand for the dreaded dry out. Having a pencil or an eraser on hand is totally optional. I find when I'm taking notes and I'm doing it rapidly, the pencil and the eraser tends to slow me down. Here are some of the things that I do before the speaker ever even begins. Consider space and time. Mentally divide your area into four quarters. Now, do this loosely. This is not uh, to box in your creativity. It's simply to give you a mental idea of the space that you have to work with. You can use a pencil or just mentally plan it out. But either way, you're going to want to think of each quarter as a rough guide for your timing and your content. So ask yourself, how much time do you have to capture this content? And then divide by four. I often encroach the quarters as I go along, so that's okay. It's only a guide, not a restriction. But when I become aware that time is closing in on me, I usually make decisions accordingly. I'll write larger or use images to fill in, or if I'm falling short of time, I'll be a little more conservative with the space that I have. Prepare mentally. Oftentimes while I'm waiting for a session to begin, uh, I go through a little self-talk before I even tackle the blank page staring back at me. I remind myself of this first before I ever begin. This is about capturing ideas, not art. Somehow it always turns out informative and artsy, but only because I decided to let my creativity flow. After my personal pep talk, I ask myself, what would be a good title to reflect when I'm about to hear? Usually, I steal something from the program or agenda that's just easiest and usually most uh, accurate. What organizations or people will I associate with the talk? As I'm waiting, I'll Google image the logos of these organizations. Who is the speaker? Often I'll scribble out a character of them, or since I'm not really a portrait artist, um, I don't perseverate too much on the detail of this, but something that helps me remember the person who's going to be speaking. So I can do all of this, even maybe a few uh, borders or some fun things around the page uh, that will hold and contain all of the notes I'm about to take. Um, but all of that is a great way to pass the time while you're waiting for the speaker to begin and also uh, to get you right into capturing content when the speaker begins.